I wanted to, to welcome now uh, my uh, next guest, uh, Mr. Haru Shun, who is the Executive Vice President of, um, of Baidu. Welcome, Haru. Ah, thanks, man. So, um, well, Baidu, uh, needless to, 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 to present Baidu uh, to the Chinese audience, but maybe to, to the Western audience, uh, who's watching us uh, online. Uh, Baidu is today, as I said in my opening speech, the third largest uh, market cap company in internet business, right after Google and uh, Amazon. Um, it's been known most famous at the beginning as a search, uh, search uh, motor, search engine. Um, and it's been said many times to have been following Google's lead. So, um, that was my first question. Has uh, um, Baidu ever been following uh, Google B, in your opinion? Uh, there's no question that uh, uh, Baidu um, is, was a search engine. I think at this point it's still primarily a, a, uh, a search engine. It's the, in, uh, I think if you look at a search engine in one country, uh, in terms of the number of queries a search engine handles every day, um, Baidu is the largest uh, search engine in the world, meaning Baidu handles more search queries in China than Google uh, handles in the U.S. Uh, so we are, in that sense, we are a given country, we are already the largest uh, search engine. Um, uh, we, you know, over time, over the past, you know, the, the company has been around for 11 years now, we've had many um, innovations that uh, suit Chinese uh, users' needs. Um, a lot of those are um, built from ground up just for Chinese cons uh, Chinese users. Um, and uh, I think looking forward, we'll do more uh, innovations um, when we really explore and observe what the Chinese users uh, like and what they need and to build a product for them. I understand that uh, when Baidu went IPO, I think it was in 2005, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Google, who's uh, still uh, your, your main competitor in China, uh, had a 30% market share. Now it's around 20% market share. So what has Baidu done differently than Google that allowed it to gain such a huge following in China? Um, so as I mentioned, we, the, 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 the Baidu search engine um, it's a Chinese language search engine, so we build this product from scratch to for this language uh, for the internet users um, in this country. And uh, over time, I think our market, the, the growth of market share, uh, demonstrates that we must be doing something right. We must be uh, meeting the users' needs. So when you I can give you a few um, examples, yes, we are primarily a search engine, but also we are. Um, We've uh, come up with a lot of products that increases the stickiness of uh, uh, internet users to Baidu. So we have a product called uh, Baidu Knows, which is basically a Q&A uh, question and answer, uh, user-generated content uh, product that we launched a few years ago. Uh, it not only, I think it, uh, it really helped to um, cultivate the through the, the diversity, diversity of content um, on China's on China's language internet. Um, my impression is there's not as much content in Chinese digitally as there is in English. So uh, before we launched Baidu Notes, we so we sensed the need. A lot of a lot of queries uh, people put in uh, Baidu didn't have good answers, meaning there are no high quality digital content. Uh, to answer that question or to be relevant to that query online. So we thought, why, why don't we just go out and build a product uh, to, on one hand, see what user needs, but also um, it will be um, helpful to <coughs> increase the loyalty of users uh, to Baidu. So that, that's uh, the, the innovation we have in China. That's it became such a successful product. Now a lot of the, um, a lot of the, uh, the search results are uh, the most relevant results, or the most clicked through results are actually from Baidu Notes, and I think that's also true even for 
um, in, uh, in the search results of uh, some other competitive uh, search engines. I was wondering if uh, Google's retreat from China uh, had any consequences on Baidu's business. Uh, we, you know, we can't quantify that. I mean, they they didn't really leave uh, China, but uh, um, I think uh, in, in our uh, investor call, previous investor calls, we did mention that we do have a sense that we probably benefit marginally as far as traffic goes uh, since uh, Google's uh, partial exit, if you will. But we can't quantify that. I think the, the key to us is we uh, focus on what we've been doing right and what we've been doing. Uh, what we've been executing uh, well and, and uh, you know, do our own uh, work and not, not focus so much on what's happening. Uh, uh, you know, uh, that, 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 frankly, a lot of those things are not in our control anyway. So uh, I, I don't think, I think at the end of it, it's about our innovation, it's about our own execution. Okay, so then let's talk. Uh, so this was many questions about the past, right? And uh, maybe also about the, the, the present. So let's talk about the future now. How do you how do you envision the, the future of the search in uh, the search business in China? Um, so search is definitely evolving. I mean, you you go to our homepage, it may look the same as you know two years ago, three years ago, even five years ago, but the uh, the search quality um, is much better than before, and we have uh, hundreds of uh, algorithm changes or upgrades every year, and to say the least, I think, going into production. So it's all behind the scenes. What you get is a um, increasingly better search engine where you, uh, you need fewer and fewer steps to get to what you're really looking for. So one concept we've been talking about for um, almost two years now is box computing. Box computing, yes. yes. Uh, so the, the essence of it is that people are, because search engine is becoming more powerful, people rely on um, search engine for many things. In the past, they just look for one piece of information. And what we present on search result page is usually 10 blue links through the URL of a third party website where essentially you need to click on that link and hopefully our belief is you will find what you need on that page. So essentially there's another s step of search because you need to open a page and you need to you know scroll through, browse through that page to see if exactly what you're looking for is on that page or sense it is, whether, uh, you know, whether you will. But that takes time and another step. Over time what we find is people sometimes are looking for very specific things. It could be one piece of information. And if we're sure about that, we should present a piece of information on the search result page instead of giving you links where you need to click and, and, and you need to look for that, um, that whatever you're looking for um, again. And uh, sometimes, so it's one piece of information, for example, if you type in Tianjin Bao weather forecast, and depend, depending on where you are, because we can tell where you are by your IP address, well, if you get here, I'm sure you will see the weather forecast for Beijing in the next few days. Um, and uh, so that's information. We, we give you the structured information on the search result page, you will get access to immediately. Um, and uh, we, over time, we're also seeing people are looking for um, some apps They want to do something. Um, they, 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 they increasingly, they are treating the search box as a command box, if you will, like, I want to do this. Uh, so they put in a name of a popular TV series, uh, you know, Viewing uh, TV series on computer has become very, very popular in China. So if you put in Xin San Bo, for example, a very popular TV series, it will give you, uh, you know, little images of different episodes on by the search result page, and you just need to click on, you know, if you want episode number three, click on it, you can watch it um, right, right there, right then. Um, so it really shortens the uh, distance between your query and the thing that you want to do or the thing that you're looking for. So that's the concept uh, behind uh, uh, box computer. So there's data component and uh, there is the application uh, component. That's how we see uh, search, box, uh, search engine uh, evolves in the future. It gets, it gets more intelligent and gives you what you're looking for uh, more quickly. 
So if I understood well, basically the, the return result is no more data, raw data. It's no more link, more, no more just a link to a third party page. I see. But in, 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 intelligent answers, intelligent data, right? Yeah, yeah, structured. Yeah. Structured, yes. Yeah. Between applications and uh, maybe uh, MP3 or maybe uh, uh, movies, as you were saying. Right, a book, yeah. Um, yeah, you download software or what have you. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that take uh, the, the sort of the, uh, the technology behind it is we need to be sure, very sure about what exact intent that query uh, that that query has. Uh, then we work with third party, either data providers or application providers to sort of uh, give us feed and we can show uh, the, the structured data or, or apps uh, on search result page. Um, as you were mentioning at the beginning, Baidu basically was on one of the very first uh, companies in, in China to, to, to become hugely successful. So we could consider that Baidu is still part of the first very successful generation of uh, internet Chinese companies. Now, uh, as you know, uh, the, the mobile business has been take, taking uh, most, most of the internet by storm. So I was wondering what is the, the strategy of Baidu uh, with, uh, in terms of, of uh, of mobile business, and uh, does Baidu see that uh, as, as a threat or as an opportunity? Uh, is Baidu behind? Uh, is Baidu ahead? We definitely see wireless and mobile as a huge opportunity for uh, for Baidu, and especially I think that since you know, last year, this year, 3G uh, becomes more mainstream, and uh, smartphones uh, become more popular. The screen is bigger, the processing power that a cell phone has, uh, has increased a lot. Uh, so it's definitely an opportunity for us. We are, we have, uh, we invested a lot in R&D resources, um, in, in uh, initiatives related to wireless. We work with uh, device makers, we work with carrier partners to make sure that uh, we are very much um, uh, by those applications, including search, but not only search, are embedded. Uh, in a lot of uh, uh, the, the smartphone devices. What we need to think about is, um, you know, first of all, we don't have any, I don't have any doubt that eventually we should get to the, um, as far as search goes, get to market share on, wire, on cell phone, um, the same, if not more, um, uh, as the market share that we have on PC. We're not there yet, but I think we're, our, our share. Um, our share is growing, our total volume is growing very fast. But what we need to think about is um, how wireless is different. Cell phone is very different. The screen, although it's bigger than before, is still much smaller than the PC. Um, and it's a lot of hassle to type. Um, even if you have a touch screen, but it's still much more hassle to type than you can type on a PC. Uh, so these are sort of disadvantages. But advantages are you, um, we know, the cell phone by itself carries a lot of information already, right? We know what cell phone that is. Uh, uh, we know your location. Uh, we know a lot of things, uh, just because it's a, it's a more private uh, uh, device. So I, I think the search experience might be different um, on cell phone uh, than on a PC. Uh, with the disadvantages versus PC advantages, an advantage versus PC combined, I think that there's a lot of new things, you know, related things we can do where we're, uh, we're thinking about at this point. Another trend with which uh, Baidu, as a traditional internet company, was not born with is the rise of social media. Um, companies such as Google have found it quite difficult to, to, to cope with the rise of, 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 of social media. Uh, what's, uh, what's the case of, of Baidu? I think Baidu is, is different because social has always been part of our, um, part of the company. We, uh, Baidu knows, right, the, the product I just talked about. It's a, it's a social product, right? Uh, Baidu uh, Postbar is also a by definition, it's a social product. Uh, it might be slightly different than the, uh, than the Twitter and the Facebook uh, today, but we do have that great um, 
sweet uh, social product as our foundation that we can build on uh, to meet the user needs. In the past, most of our social products are content driven or content based. And uh, within the company, we're doing a lot of thinking about how to uh, add more sort of relationship identity um, uh, type uh, of, 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 uh, of themes or anchors to these products. But we, I think we're in a, in a, in a good place. We, we have a good foundation to, uh, to build down to meet uh, the, uh, so the, 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 the new trend of uh, social media or social network services. You were talking earlier about intelligent search. So uh, I noticed that basically the, the Baidu now has the ability to recognize uh, uh, a potential um, tweet of a short, short message for microblogging, right? Right, that's a uh, product that we launched recently where we can, uh, if you go to our <coughs> search box, if you type in something that we think has a high probability of you actually you want to uh, uh, to write a microblog. Uh, we'll ask you if that's your purpose, and we can simultaneously, if you write that microblog, post that microblog to multiple microblog uh, services. It's I think the, uh, the the trick here is uh, we need to um, cultivate that behavior because it's it's new. I mean, nobody knows if you go to Baidu, you can you can write your uh, microblog. So it's sort of a um, Thing, a, 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 a consumer behavior, user behavior that we need to cultivate. Once people recognize they can do that, or do more of that, and our, um, and our, and this application will uh, will improve over time. So it's, it's it's something new that we're trying. Okay, um, as you were saying also at the beginning of this interview, you still consider uh, Google your main competitor in China, right? One of them. Yeah, we have many competitors in China. Uh, probably the first one, 20%. Uh, if you look at market share, yes. Yeah. Uh, so, you beat definitely uh, Google uh, on, its own, on its own game, uh, on your own territory. Uh, is there any plan from Baidu to expand outside of China? Uh, yeah, I, mean, I, 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 I wouldn't say we, we beat Google on, on their own game. I think we, we you know, it's our game. Uh, so in China, at least. Um, yes, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, as far as uh, expansion overseas, we do have a Japanese search engine um, in Japan, which we launched uh, about four years ago. Uh, we are. Uh, it's, it's a tough market to crack. I will be the first to admit that. But we are. We are committed. We are uh, working on it, and uh, at this point, we're also thinking about what what, what are the next batch of uh, overseas markets we will tackle, and uh, we're we're making a lot of investments in technology infrastructure uh, to be ready for a sort of multi-language. Um, uh, we were setting up this multi-language uh, platform uh, to get us more ready uh, once we. Do decide to go to other markets, but uh, for sure we do have uh, um, global uh, aspirations. Um, and I think that the, uh, the, as well, when we are founder uh, said, we uh, a lot of the growth for the company in the next ten years will come from overseas expansion. So you feel comfortable that the Baidu is creating some technology that is able to compete internationally? What was the first part of the question? No, no, you feel comfortable that Baidu right now is creating some technology, some innovations? That yeah, I think so, yes. Uh, of course, every market has its uh, you know, different uh, uh, characteristics. We need to study those. And there are definitely uh, markets that are easier for us to enter and some are more difficult. Um, and uh, for some markets, the suite of products we have already can be more easily leveraged in some less so. Um, so it's, a, it's all just part of our, um, it should all go into our thinking um, about uh, where and where to, uh, to enter. Um, you know that the China ICT uh, is, uh, is leading a conference on uh, China Tech Innovation and Entrepreneurship. So, um, 
I want to know if you think that China is a great place to start a company for new entrepreneurs, whether, whether or not Chinese. Yeah, it's a huge market uh, for one thing. It's it's uh, you know you can if you look at internet population, it's the largest internet country um, in the world, um, uh, and uh, you know it's also telling that we by the handles more search queries than Google does in the U.S. Right? It's definitely the market is definitely there. The, the, it's it's got a huge user base and it, it keeps growing, and the economy is is doing well. Um, it's now the, the or the second largest economy um, in the world, and um, I think the capital market is uh, recognizing that, and uh, it's relatively um, easy to, to get funding if you to have a uh, good idea. So I think it's, it's a great place to be for investors and for entrepreneurs. Last question: If I am a young entrepreneur today, which kind of company or which kind of product? Should I develop in order to get acquired by Baidu in the near future? Um, it's a uh, it's a hard question. I uh, I think for entrepreneurs, uh, just to be mindful that uh, they are uh, you know you need to have something that really unique that fits user needs, and also there are these platforms out there already. You, know, you can consider Tencent as a platform, and also Baidu as a platform, and to a certain extent, uh, Weibo is also um, a platform. Um, and, uh, and openness has been a big theme for uh, big internet companies, including Baidu. Um, so I, I, I think just to build upon these uh, open platforms to work on, to devise some apps or uh, some something that's unique that takes advantage of all these uh, uh, platforms, um, I think that's probably the, the way to go. I never, uh, don't think too big at the beginning. I think that's, that's, uh, that's the key, yeah. So probably anything around the, the platform you were describing about the box computing concept you were describing earlier, right? Yeah, we, for example, we have a, uh, we set up a budget, a pretty sizable budget to um, encourage uh, developers to develop apps that can be shown um, uh, by the surface of page as part of the box computer initiative. All right, thank you so much, Harry. Thank you, Frank. Thank you.